Uh, give him his juice, he's a man of his word, he's playing motor aid. Hey Julian. Yes. Man of your word. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm not that bright.
grabs me I want you to go step back step forward take that just turn it away simple as yeah cool Domo so lots of people so I grab you so step back good because it pulls me off balance good and then step forward you only need to go one good and then clap those hands like that grab it and then turn it that way okay perfect good that's it good yeah good man so your turn so so step back, because then I come off balance. Step forward, because then you get your arms back, and then you're bringing that into there, holding it, and then you just turn it up. Perfect, and you see there, yeah. Straight away, you're ready to get me. Hey, little lady. I missed your name at the beginning. Oh, come here then, little lady. You can do it on me. To you, I'm gonna grab him. So step back, bang. Step forward, bang. And then grab my wrist, and then turn it. Hold on to that one, that's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, you can, sir. Yes, cool. Sir. Together. So step back. I step forwards. I grab. I turn it out. I take that. And then I step back. Cool. There we go. Nice and simple. For the more senior grades, we've got the choke on here. We've also got this. So I can break that. Start to damage that. I've got his wrist there. There we go. I don't want to damage his wrist because he'll hurt me because he won't be able to work. Yeah. He's driving home seven hours later. So cool. 
and then nice and simple you see how i always put my hands up when we get up so that i know where he is because i see a lot of people just get up and wander off and then their mates come in so every time we do it just come up with your hands up cool excellent That's right ready one two clap grab someone and have a little play if you aim for the seam so you can slide the seam and grab that seam yeah and then twist that out and then as you twist that out you can then prop him down that's it perfect yeah yeah there is no right and wrong he's falling on the floor so it works good boys don't jump play with them bits in here so, and then when you get up make sure your hands are there good so step back step forwards underneath there because look that's how that goes there we go good it was around somewhere. It was there. <laughs> I'm so pretty sure the tickle jitsu. Right, come on, let's have a quick sin on that. We're getting the idea of that. There's no point in spending hours and hours on things and refining you and making you perfect. I just want to give you ideas about different things that can happen in different ways, okay? So, if we were just working from that, brilliant. We've now got a thing that we can get out of that, yeah? But if I let go of that for some reason, Tony's then going to punch me with that one. Damn it! So I've got to get in with both hands and step in and stop him doing it. The grown-ups might have heard about it, but keep off the X. If there's an X and we're in that centre spot there, I've got to get out of that middle bit, because that middle bit is where he's aiming to punch me. So in this case, I'm stepping in and putting both my hands in up there to flinch a response to get that bit, okay? Cool. So from there, if Tony does that, yeah, nice and simple. Bang! Both hands in to stop it. I don't want to get hit. I'm going to grab his gi. I'm going to come back down and grab his gi, okay? Now, I've been watching. Lots of you guys aren't throwers. So we'll start off with this one, and then we'll move into a throw, okay? So as I grab his gi, I can then duck under his arm to where it's safer for me, okay? Because I'm away from that one. This arm that's got the gi pushes away from me. So I can come around and take it on that side. We'll come to this arm in a minute. I just want you to get comfortable with doing this bit, okay? And you see how his balance has started to break? So he's unsteady, uncut, nice and steady, yeah? Pain compliance is good, but having a strong base is better, okay? Cool, so, pain is good, but a structure is better. So what we're gonna do is look for a T-shape with you guys, because you're more seniors, okay? So, um, Tony, uh, actually, you go play with him, I'll borrow these gents. So, uh, can I borrow you? Yeah. What was your name, man? Johnny. Johnny, good. So, you block this arm. So block this Bang, arm. that's it, and come underneath. That's it. Take that and push it away. Come around and take it. Now, it feels like your feet are next to mine. That's better, good. So, that, yeah, you can feel, there you go, you see my balance is going. Perfect, that's much better. And then this arm comes underneath here. You're then going to push up to the sky and put it behind my bed. There we go, good. Cool. Excellent. Good job, man. Good job, yeah. But you see, I could feel your feet were slightly in the wrong place. Cool. Give it a go. That's it. So what we're looking for is like a T-shape. So if my feet are in line with your feet, I'm off balance and you're off balance. So you, you okay if I borrow yourself? Cool. So yeah, if... Sorry, say where you are. If we're both like this, then we're both going to have to be. There's specific reasons when I'm teaching this as to what bits I want you to get. And that bit was the footwork just to get that T-shape, because you're a nice solid base and they're off balance. So that's exactly what we want to work from. So we can put in the other arm to play. Now I know that you've got the structure to be able to do it safely to him, because there is a certain degree of me looking after him, even when I'm beating him up. Because if I just river dance on his face, I'm going to prison and I can't look after my family then. But if I can control his descent and control what he's gonna do, then I can still go home and look after my family, hopefully. A little bit of money to the lawyers, but yeah. So he comes in and attacks me, there doing that grabbing that stepping round to there punch that away come round and take that now I'm pulling him into me so that he's off balance this hand then goes up to the stars and comes back that's it mainly because if this is nice and lax his two hands are going to trap my arm he's just going to hold his up yeah it's good so as soon as it comes around let's see, let go as soon as it comes around I've got to get it up out of the way and then I'm putting it on the back of his head and because I've got control of this and I've got control of this, I can push his head forward and pull the choke back. And I've got good structure, so I can control him. Yeah, you okay? <laughs> cool, a little bit red, but not too bad. But I've got good structure so that I can sit down nice and controlled with him. Yeah? Excellent. I think I've got to do it a couple more times, isn't it? I think I said I was going to do it three. I might as well do it three. So, cool, so he comes on there. Bang! Underneath. Push it away. 
come round and grab it. Pull it back, back of the head. Cool. Last thing to let go is the choke. And I stand up with my hands in the way. Yeah? Cool. And one more just for luck. Here we go, that way. Woohoo! Whose luck? That way, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so it comes on there. Stop it. Grab it. Underneath. Push. Take. Control. Down. Then I'll let go of the choke and get up. I'll come round and Tony will come round and make sure you get the nuances because that's the whole idea for today. We're not going to get, unfortunately, you're not all going to get push belts on the way home, but we might give you some little tips to make your training a little bit better, okay? Cool, okay, one, two, let's go and play. Good, be careful, don't beat her up too much. You need to train with her during the week. I hope you two have gone to the middle now, we're in trouble. Good, yes. Nice. Yeah, well done. Nicely done, boys, nearly there. Great, come on, you two troublemakers. <laughs> it's awkward to say us or choke and tap and stuff when sometimes people put it on really well. Like, How the hell do I tell someone to you? Pay attention to your opponent just in case. Good, good. Yes, that's it. Nicely spotted that they were there. Well done. Make sure your hands are up though. Apart from that, spot on. Well done. All right, come on in, boys. Let's see. Take it in turns. Yes, take him down. Good. And stand up. Brilliant. After that one. So I'll come to you with this hand, okay? Nice and slowly. Bang. That's it. And then you grab this as you duck underneath. That's all right. That's it. Punch that way with that fist so that it gets a nice choke on. And then it's easier for that one to then come around and grab the gear. Good, and then pull that gear as far as you can that way. And then this hand can then let go and punch up to the ceiling and then go around my throat. That's it, so pull that one nice and tight. That's it, and pull that one in nice and tight. That's it, that's it. And then you can control me down and just keep pummeling me. Yeah, cool. Can I do that's right. I'm just gonna do it one more time on this lady so that she susses it and then you can have a go. You guys are doing pretty good at that, especially the tickle monsters over here in the corner. So, we've probably only got time for one more. But we'll see, because I want to recap before we go anyway, the three little bits that you've learned, okay? So, we've done a double grab, we've done a single punch, now we're gonna do a double punch, okay? Cool, so he comes in with that one, there. He comes in with the other side, there. That comes up underneath, there. That one then gets folded back, there. That one gets folded back, there. No, I'm not gonna do that with you. <laughs> now, you lot will all end up in hospital. <laughs> but. I haven't seen much throwing going on today. So we're going to do the end bit of this technique without you having to break each other's arms to get there, okay? So, nice and simple. Tony's just going to put that arm up like he's a teapot. Good. I'm going underneath that. Just like he's a teapot. It's going underneath through that hole and it's coming around onto his shoulder. Nice and simple. Good. You see where my feet are? They're in the centre line there. And my power is now starting to go that way, and so is Tony's. Oh, so does a teapot. He's then going to throw me. There. So now we've got this, and we've got this. So that when I step, I can pull him off balance, and I can help him to rotate around and down. Gently. It's easy for me to shoulder throw him and make myself look good, but your guys will go to the hospital and all it will get is my ego bigger. And my ego doesn't need to be any bigger. So, nice and simple. Tony's a teapot. <laughs> Love it. And then as he goes to punch me with that one, I stop it. And I come underneath the teapot. I turn around and I just pull him. Good. Nice and simple. You don't need to do it any quicker or any harder than that. It's easy for you guys to do it more aggressive and quicker but we'll get you learning the basics so you don't all go to hospital. Cool, Tony's a teapot and he punches me. Good. Cool, if you can, keep hold of something because it makes it safer to know where I am. And then as always, put your hands up, walk away from him and smile. Cool, okay, everybody got that? Any questions? We'll come round and make sure you all get it, but it's better that you get it slow and controlled rather than 200 mile an hour. Okay, one, two, 
Let's go play. Just try the top button. We can work on that.
down, right? Basically, we need to be constructed by the down, finish, hit uh, the brain stem. I tell you, you know my man in boxing, don't hit the back of the head. Why? Because you get damaged. You're a straight situation, that's what you need to do. Okay, guys, you want to